Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today we're doing something a little bit different since my sewing machine is getting checked out. Um, I wanted to do something else with you. So today I'm going to show you how you can use bleach to decorate your old hoodies or t-shirts or any other piece of fabric. So it's going to be super interesting and I hope you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to show you what I used and how I did it. So stay tuned. So here is everything that we're going to need for today. So apart from the piece of clothing that you want to work on, um, we're going to use a pencil so that we can draw our um, design on a piece of paper. You can use a notebook or pretty much anything else you have at home that you can draw on. Here is a lid that I'll be using to transfer my piece of, or my design, my piece of paper. And then of course, we're going to need something to put under our piece of fabric so that the bleach doesn't go through. And of course, here we have the bleach. I also have some cardboard as well that's going to go between the front and the back of the hoodie so that it doesn't transfer to the back. Of course, here is our little um, brush that we're going to be using for today as well. You can use it as thin or as thick as you'd like. The thinner it is, the more precise it's going to be. So here is the bleach that I could find. Um, you're always going to see chlorine on here, um, so just make sure that you get the right stuff. You can of course find this in any supermarket where all of the other cleaning supplies are. So this is something that's a little bit more aggressive to the skin, so just be careful about that. That's why we have the gloves here. So if it comes in contact with your skin, it might irritate it um, and cause some burns. So we do want to be protected today. I also recommend doing this outside if you can. Here is a piece of fabric that we're going to practice on. So there are different ways how we can transfer our design onto our fabric. So I would always recommend to start with a uh, a um, little sketch on a piece of paper before you get onto the fabric just to make sure that you get everything nicely. You can of course print something out if you already have something that you found online. Um, that's also an option or if you can have a pattern at home that you would like to use. So if you have something that's ready then you can skip this next part but if you'd like to draw your own design then you can use um, a regular pen or pencil for this. And here is a fabric marker that I'm going to use to transfer it onto my fabric. So then you can of course choose something that has um, kind of a frame behind it like you can see here. So I'm using my circle to kind of be able to orient myself and see how big I want my clouds to be. So I have here a lid that you can see that um, I want to use. You can do different shapes and sizes of course. This is the one that I think would fit my hoodie. So I'm gonna do the circle around here and then I'm gonna see if I like the size and then modify it if I need to. And then we're gonna get to the clouds. So I do recommend that you wash your piece of clothing before you get started and even iron over it just to make sure that you don't have any wrinkles or anything. If you have some fuzz going on like I do, make sure to use a lint roller so that you remove those before you start. So I mark now um, where my circles begin to start, so kind of the top and the bottom. And yeah, just make sure that you don't have any other um, parts of the fabric, like the hoodie, um, um, on there. So you just want the front or maybe the back if you're giving the back. So now what we're going to do is just make sure that we're satisfied with the position. I'm going to check this by taking the ruler and making sure that it's, it has an equal distance from both ends of the fabric or of my hoodie. Okay, there we go. I think now it's exactly in the middle. And you can now use um, anything that's visible on here. I have a regular pen and then I have a fabric pen as well that's washable later. So this is specifically made for marking fabric when you're working on it. So now um, 
When you do the circle, I recommend trying your piece of clothing on and just making sure that you like the size, you like where it is, and you like how it looks. So now that we're starting with our pattern and our whole design, you can use a piece of cardboard to put um, underneath the front or the back of the fabric, depends on what you're working on, um, just to have a flat surface underneath and to make the drawing easier. So the cardboard helps and makes it easier to work with. So before you start working with the bleach on your fabric, you should use some leftover fabric that you have and don't need just to make sure you're familiar with um, the thickness of your brush but also in general how bleach works. So when you put bleach on fabric, it's pretty much permanently there. Um, so you can fix any mistakes that you make. So that's why you want to practice in advance and make sure everything's gonna look great on our piece of fabric for this project. So you see here, I kind of um, fit random circles, random waves on here just to be familiar with the thickness of my brush and the way it interacts, so to speak, with the bleach. So when you try that out, we can get onto the fabric. I highly recommend that you do this outside with some rubber gloves, as well as some old clothing on yourself in case the bleach drips onto you, then you're not gonna be angry about destroying your new clothes. So if you're a minor, please make sure to do this with a parent or an adult present just to make sure you don't hurt yourself and everything goes smoothly. So if you're working on a desk or not on the ground, then make sure to put something between your surface and the fabric that you're going to bleach on just to make sure the bleach doesn't go through and damage your surface or desk or table or whatever you're working on. Here are the gloves. I have a little bit thicker ones and I do recommend finding the thicker ones as well. Optionally, you can use um, the gloves that you usually get when you're buying um, box of hair dye. In that case, just make sure they're not ripped or anything since chlorine really can damage your skin. So these are a little bit too small for my hands, so I can't work well with them, but I do recommend some thicker gloves if you can find them. So you see here some bleach that we have in the background. I'm gonna put this in a little um, bow that I have. This one is made out of plastic. Yeah, so just make sure you use something that you're not gonna eat out of later. So something old, something that um, you use for crafts and different projects, but not for food. So I'm gonna do just a little bit and then we'll see how far that goes. So I think we're pretty much ready to go. I have here a little um, brush, a pretty thin one that I'm gonna work with. And then, um, of course, you can use thinner ones if you have a really small design and then use bigger ones if you have a bigger design. So you can also dilute your bleach with a little bit of water if you want the colors to be more subtle. Of course, if you use it undiluted, then it's gonna be really strong and, um, the colors are going to be really bright. So this depends on what kind of style you would like to use. So try it out on the leftover bits of fabric and then we can get started. So the cardboard is underneath so that the coloring doesn't transfer to the back of my hoodie. I just want to design in the front. So make sure you use something thicker, a piece of paper probably won't be enough, but a piece of cardboard should work just fine. Also, another really important tip um, is to not go with your hand over the design since it might um, make it a little bit weird. So maybe working from top to bottom or just making sure that you're not touching the design when you do it is gonna be good. 
So when we started working with it, here I have my gloves on here, the ones from the box hair dye, and make sure that you don't have too much um, liquid on your brush since it might drip or um, just do weird things and not cooperate as nicely. So what I'm doing here is just going over the lines that I made with my fabric marker and that way I'm hoping to get a really nice effect with the bleach. So it's going to take a little bit of time for it to show up so you might not be able to see it as well right now but in a couple of moments you should be able to see the effect. This of course also depends if you've diluted your bleach or not. So bleach usually has this orangey, reddish, um, sometimes a yellowish color depending on the strength. And yeah, I really like the way this looks on dark fabric. So now we're going to wash this out very thoroughly, which means that I'm just going um, over it with my shower, with my shower head, and um, that way we're getting rid of the rest of the bleach and it's not going to keep eating away at our fabric, so to speak. So this way you can also wash it later in the washing machine, but make sure to wash it out first. So if you have some... Um, bits and pieces where you can see the lines are not as um, nicely contoured as you'd like them to be. You can use a fabric pen that's not um, something that's washed out later um, and you can fix those spots if you're using, of course, some black um, fabric. If you're using another color, then you might find the marker in that color. That's also an option. So make sure these markers are not water-based because then as soon as you wash your sweater or hoodie, it's gonna kind of go away. So just making sure it's something that won't be washed out when you wash your piece of clothing might be a good idea. You can also use different colors to make this um, even more interesting. And you can see here, hopefully, the effects that I'm achieving. So I'm kind of making the contouring a little bit clearer, um, the lines a little bit nicer and um, without any weird spots. You can also do like a tie-dye thing if you use some, some hair ties or even um, rubber bands from the kitchen and then um, kind of have that effect as well. You can do it with bleach but also with fabric coloring. This is the same thing that you can probably do with fabric coloring depending on what kind it is. But I do like um, working with fabric markers because they give me a lot more um, precision when I do my designs.
So you can see my piece of fabric now that it's been washed and dried. So this is what it looks like now and I love the way it looks. I'm really excited to wear this. So let me know how you like it, if you do something else to it, if you add some more decorative pieces like maybe some glitter or um, some other kinds of gems or maybe um, multiple colors through fabric markers. So if you enjoyed today's project, feel free to let me know what you think. Let me know how you did it at home, how well it worked, how well or how much you were satisfied with it. And if you'd like to see more of such projects, make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you do, don't forget to click on the notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time we post a new video. If you like this project, you can let us know by shooting a thumbs up and we'll be really excited to see you in one of our next projects. So we wish you a wonderful day, stay creative, stay excited, and see you in our next project and video. Bye!